Welcome to Move Ahead at Home, a collection of instructional videos created to help learners of all ages deepen their understanding of mathematical concepts. My name is Glenna Tabor. For the past few decades, I've worked with K-12 schools across the United States as an educational consultant. My mission has always been to transform the way that math is taught into something more meaningful, engaging, and fun. <laughs> Students who have used my techniques have developed incredible number sense and have a better foundation for higher level math. With so many students now learning at home, I wanted to share my techniques and methods with parents, grandparents, caregivers, and any other person who wants to move the learners they know ahead. <laughs> I'm going to show you how to use just a few resources to play math games that are simple and fun. <laughs> Plus, they will help your learners get what they need to succeed. We're using the deck of cards again, this time for subtraction war. It's similar to addition war. I'd watch that video too. We're using the same fact families, but in this game, we're practicing subtraction and determining the difference between the amounts represented on cards. What age child would benefit from playing Subtraction War? It's the same as Addition War. With manipulatives, you can play this game with a kindergartner. Since the cards have a picture of the abstract number, this game can also be played with first and second graders. As was the case with Addition War, everyone needs practice with basic facts. So, Play with everyone in your house, including those middle and high schoolers. Let's get that deck of cards. We'll get a mat to, for each player. Let's get that deck of cards. We'll remove the jokers. And we'll remove the face cards. And we'll let the aces represent one. When we turn this over, what is the difference between nine and two? You can easily count these if you wanted, but you can also just say nine, count back two, eight, seven. The difference is seven. I knew that because I started with nine and counted back two. You're right, I could not win these cards unless I could tell the other players how I knew it. Let's play again. I have a seven, that's the largest number. Find the largest number and then subtract the lesser number, the lesser amount from that one. Really what you're saying in subtraction is, what is the difference between five and seven? And you can see it. See, you can count five, and then how many are left over? What is the difference? Two, you're right. If you want, you can have everyone race, after they practice subtraction war, have everyone race to write what the basic fact is, and then the rest of the fact family. Seven minus five equals two, seven minus two equals five, what would be the addition facts that go with that fact family? You're right. 2 plus 5 equals 7, and 5 plus 2 equals 7. Oh, you're doing it. You're playing Subtraction War, and you are moving ahead in what you know about basic facts. Thank you for watching this video. If you like what you saw and want more, visit my website, glennatabor.com. There are over 100 games there you can download all for free. <laughs> the games are fun. They teach the concepts your children need to be learning right now. <laughs> if you have any questions or you'd like to see games for other concepts, please let me know in the comment section below. If you like this game, be sure to click the subscribe button so you'll know every time a new game is added. See you next time as we move ahead at home.